Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize 2 John chapter 1, where John wrote a very short letter to a woman, likely a widow, that he was fond of. John wanted to know how she was doing and wanted to give her some instructions in the truth. John was likely around 75 years old when he wrote this letter. And I am speculating that the woman he wrote to was in her 40s or 50s. John met her grown children and spoke with them, and this sparked his interest in knowing how she was. John wanted to reconnect with this woman and wrote some encouraging words to her. In much of the letter, John told the woman about love, truth, and obedience, and reminded her things that he taught when he was with her. John explained that people love God by obeying His commands. John warned the woman about inviting unbelievers into her home and told her to watch out for people who do not acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God and came in the flesh to earth to save sinners from eternal death. John called these people deceivers and antichrist. John told the woman that it was important to keep watch over her soul and not believe any lies, so she did not lose what she worked so hard for. John said that he wanted her to be rewarded fully on Judgment Day. John also said that anyone who leaves the faith and does not continue in the teaching of Jesus Christ does not have God. And John said to the woman to make sure she did not welcome anyone who teaches lies into her home or she would share in their wicked work. John closed the letter by telling the woman that he has much to write, but he doesn't want to communicate with pen and ink. He wants to visit her and talk with her face to face. John also told the woman that her nephews and nieces send their greetings because he was in recent contact with them as well. The most important verse in this chapter is 2 John 1 7, which states, For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that believers show their love for Him when they obey His commands. He wants us to be on guard constantly against people who would try to spread lies and deception. Christians should not share in any work with anyone who teaches lies or heresies. And God wants us to know that there will be a full reward to everyone who finishes the game of life honorably. Do you acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God who came in the flesh to earth to save sinners from eternal death? You can do it right now. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? And thanks for watching this Second John chapter 1 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.